Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is episode 3, level 2, I believe. Yes, it is in fact, yes. So we are now, first of all, get the four steals from the top by jumping on the middle platform and then just double jumping up. I'm throwing kind of a lot of pipe bombs here because... Well, first of all, that looks kind of fun. And secondly, there is a very small chance that a seventh cockroach spawns randomly nearby. And it doesn't always spawn, which is great. But you can hit it with by just throwing pipe bombs all over the place, really. And after you've done that, jump down there, jump, and then just follow the road of a yaw. Haven't found any secret yet, sadly, but we'll find them. I'm throwing three pipe bombs over here to kill one of the cockroaches that was in the front of the screen over there. Um, if you don't kill it now, it'll run to a different location, actually, where it's impossible to hit it. So either kill it at the start of the level or don't kill it at all, pretty much. So after doing that, get the nuke from up there, which uh, there's two cockroaches over there, which I kill. And make your way over here. Now this button starts and stops the train that moves in the bottom over here, which uh, you will see me fiddling around with. And you kind of need it to stop just with, well, with the front of the train just in front of you, basically. So you can go over here. Where there is quite possibly the single most useless double damage power up in the game, unless there's some sort of hidden it's meaning or time. currently hidden usable way for it, but for as far as I could find, there's basically one enemy that you can kill with this. Unless you use it on the way back, where you could kill te well, you technically you could kill some more enemies with it, but only if you haven't killed them while going here, which seems kind of awkward. But yeah, push the button on the left. Uh, the other button basically makes the train move again in case you're in an awkward position and you need the trains to move. But it's in a pretty good position right now, so that's why I'm just gonna leave. But after pressing that button, go all the way to the right again and make your way all the way back to where we came from. Didn't mean to jump on that, but that basically hurts you, so don't jump on it ever. And after that, jump up, 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 because there's one pick cup here. And another randomly spawning enemy, so that's why I'm throwing some pipe bombs around the place, but yeah, it's not really important. And this water is actually kind of interesting because you only get hit by it when jumping in and jumping out. For some reason the hitbox is weird on that one. And now I'm gonna throw eight pipe bombs over here to kill some of the, the two cockroaches you can see in the background over there. And I'm gonna jump away from these pipe bombs quite a distance actually because even standing underneath well, even having a large wall in between the explosion will still damage you, so um, yeah, be careful with that. And there's actually a second form of that woman cyborg thingy uh, in the bottom right, who also actually has a very small chance to spawn on the other side of the door, so she'll immediately attack you, which is kind of annoying, but she's pretty much the same as the other woman, only instead of a normal whip, she has an electrified whip. Uh, throw a pipe bomb down here to destroy a second set of barrels and throw some pipe bombs down here to basically kill the woman without any problems, really. And this is pretty much just the safest way to go along with it. After that, push the button, go all the way up again, 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 again. And throw a pipe bomb into the little thing over there, which I missed the first time, but hit it a second time for nuke number four and secret area number three. So kill these two enemies because they throw pipe bombs in our minis and they're actually um, throw a different kind of pipe bomb now um, one which falls on the floor and then flies up and starts shooting all around it before it explodes and this is what happens when you switch weapons while climbing because climbing a pipe is so exciting I got really really bored so yeah that's what happens there's 100 ammo for the glob gun to the left over there but I didn't bother with it because I barely ever use it anyway but once you press that button, go all the way down again, and go to the right. Jump over the forest field, because otherwise you take damage, and on this platform, if you stand on the right of the platform, <clears throat> on the platform, you will go to the right, and if you stand on the left, it will go to the left, basically. Which I'm going to be using here, because that glob falls on the floor. For some reason, if you make it fall off the edge of the platform, which is not kind of nice, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. At that point, uh, destroy the barrel to the right for a 100 health power up, and there's some cockroaches to the left that I kill just to make sure they don't change later on. Time to fumigate. Indeed. And then make your way to the right over here for the most useful force field power up, and 
This one's actually quite useful, but it's it's also kind of annoying. <laughs> and only for one real reason, and that's this train, which slowly moves to the other end of the screen. You can't jump over it either, and it's just fantastic. Yeah. Great. So yeah, after that, I tried to throw a pipe bomb on the left side of that wall because you can technically destroy that wall with a well-thrown pipe bomb and as such skip like half of the level if you wanted to, if you don't care about the nukes. But I missed, so I'm just gonna do it normally. I was gonna do it normally anyway, I just gonna do it for the hell of it. And this, um... Well, there's basically a cockroach in the foreground over here. And you can only hit it by placing pipe bombs on this beam over here. And more importantly, you, he actually needs to be in a specific location as well, because right now he's too far away. But in a moment he should move slightly further up the beam. Uh, there we go. And you should see the kill counter go from 31 to 32. Fantastic. You don't actually need him for the 100% kills thing, but eh. He's there, it helps. I think there's a... Uh, like 80, like 56 enemies or 57 in this level anyway, so... But yeah, jump up here, get the nuke, nuke number 7, and you can't wait for, wait for the platform, but I didn't bother because... me. Jump up here, fall down because I'm an idiot, and jump up there again. He throws pipe bombs, but most of the time if you're standing over there, he'll just throw them in the water over there. And if you jump up over here, there's actually a secret area you can access with um, two more nukes in it. So definitely get that, and then go back again because I find it easier to kill those rats from here using pipe bombs. I like pipe bombs in case you haven't noticed it yet. And he happily runs to where his dead ally was just a moment ago. And I'm still pretty convinced that you can make a double jump to reach that area, but if you miss, I, I, I've never actually done it. But if you miss, you can just go from here, jump on the platform, or just jump, or just wait for a platform to come by and then just jump on the platform basically. And you can also slide underneath this thing, um, but there's nothing there. You'll just immediately slide back again, and you'll take damage during the entire time you're in the water. So don't bother with it, really, but you can in case you felt like it. So after you go through this door, go to the right of the hill. For some reason, you can destroy that wall with your foot. I'm not sure why, but it's Duke Nukem, so we shan't ask any questions. Shan't, or whatever. But, um... Yeah, kill these enemies because they set you on fire, and fire is still pretty bad for your health, apparently. And just wait for the elevator to go down, because elevators are fun, and we need more elevators in our game because we can't use staircases or new. Or just falling. I like falling, actually, a lot more than elevators in this game. Uh, press this button, because if you don't press this button, the power of the subway tra tracks won't be turned off, and you'll take damage the entire time you're walking here. Which is definitely very annoying indeed. And the enemies won't take damage while they're standing on there for some magical reason, so yeah. Though at this point the voice field is actually quite a bit more useful. Simply because, well, there's still some enemies left here and there's still that glop on the floor. And we're already 55 kills, but oh well. And Mr. 56 is here and technically you should be able to get 57 if that random enemy spawns at the start as well so Sorry, yeah Harry. fantastic to do first. so after you don't know that um, remove the force field and just jump down and you can't just wait here and the level will end but you can also run to the front of the train and funnily enough fall off the train right in front of it but you will still end the level regardless and that was the end of episode 3, level 2, I believe, and I hope you enjoyed this so far, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.